How about now? Can you hear me now? Should be able to hear me, right? Thanks for that, y'all, man. <laughs> um, sweet. All right, thank you very much. Um, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, uh, you'll have seen the poll that I had up. Um, I am going to be taking my character from my scene. In fact, I might want to take my document size down to like 1500. Let's say that. Sounds great. Actually, maybe a little bit bigger. So we're going to want to do... Let's maybe say... Um, 1200 by 1800, just so that it covers that, um, so it covers that screen space. Okay, hit control N and now we're good to go. <clears throat> okay, so the main thing that I want to focus on, the thing that I would like to do is make this new character. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to talk about how I prep my reference to be able to <laughs> to be able to put that into Spotlight, um, just because it's that's always a helpful review. This is where things are at currently. I'm going to hide that because I don't need that at the moment. Okay, so this is this is where I'm at, and I was thinking it could be fantastically awesome um, to have. Dragon Riders. <laughs> Brilliant, right? Who's ever thought of that? <laughs> DreamWorks. Hmm. Whatever. Um, cool, right? Okay, so that's what I want to do. Is I want to go through and I want to have. Um, I want to have Dragon Riders, and I'm going to use my character's base mesh. Um, let's go to custom. Let's do something like. That that done oh it's not even showing the right one there we go properties I'm gonna try to <laughs> what's that that's really funny okay that's because of the cropping it's giving me some weird results with my with my webcam you guys don't really want to see my face, do you? Okay, filters. Let's take this. We need to take the left and right. Let's take that to 25. We're going to take the top down to 25. Ah, let's make it 50. Let's make the bottom 25, something like that. And we'll make the left something like 125 cool and for some reason it doesn't want to let my tablet grab it there we go cool there we go that'll work better Okay, so hopefully that'll go through, you know, just having fixed the webcam um, size. Maybe that'll make it so that the streaming goes more smoothly today than it did last week. Okay, so what do I use for multi-streaming? We use uh, Restream. It's a free site. You can go through, you can stream to however many <laughs> websites you want to. Um, pretty much. I think some platforms actually cost like a premium membership sort of thing, but yeah. Kind of fun. So, the idea of what I want to do comes from a couple of sketches that I did working on ideas. I want to make them kind of toad like. This is just for my sketchbook. Okay. And then, yeah, just some other sketch ideas. I want to, I want to do something kind of like that. Just seems kind of fun. Um, uh, yeah, so I stream through an OBS, yeah. Um, it is Streamlabs. I stream through the Streamlabs OBS. <clears throat> there are other OBS softwares out there. Um, but yeah, so Streamlabs OBS is what I use. It seems to be less buggy. And 
That's the one that Anna Carolina referred me to. So it works nicely. I like it. <laughs> okay. So let's go through. I'm going to talk about how to prep uh, my reference first. I need to send those pictures to myself. Uh, we're going to save to Dropbox. Candyland. Save. There's one down, or other one up, I guess. Okay, save to Dropbox, Candyland. It's fun. So this evening, before we uh, before we started the stream, uh, I got to go with the family to a luau. That was fun. Some good, uh, some good dancing and and uh, good good food. That's the way to go, right? <laughs> what advice would you give to someone who? is terrified about making it as an artist but embarking on the path anyway. Um, <sighs> terrified about making it as an artist. Uh, try to figure out what it is that you're terrified of. Are you terrified of being an artist or are you terrified of um, are you terrified of the workload or the production schedule or uh, working with clients? <laughs> Fear of failure, okay. Um, everyone fails. <laughs> um, that's I think that's one of the things to kind of hold on to is that you gotta you gotta kind of just play with failure and figure out how to fail in a in a way that you enjoy or that other people enjoy. Um, Hey, Rethon, how you doing? Um, failing is part of growth. It's it is it is a tough thing to balance because you know quite honestly you go through and you're you're trying to figure out okay um, I want to be this thing and it's hard <laughs> and uh, that's just kind of how how it goes. It's 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 definitely not easy. Um, is it worth it? It can be. It is sometimes. <laughs> okay. So I wanted to start off kind of talking about what I do to be able to set up reference. Um, so right now I'm in Photoshop. I, I recognize that uh, not everybody has access to Photoshop, but um, you eventually you get to the point professionally where you can't live without it because there's so much that you have to do that you just have to have your own licenses and all that stuff. So it's kind of fun. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of that. Oh, let's turn them off so that we can... Okay, so I'm just getting kind of a quick, rough pass around around the character. What I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm shoot um, that I'm including kind of all the corners, um, and then I should be able to go ahead and use different. Uh, different selection tools to be able to make it so that I have just the character. It's kind of tough because I've got like uh, all these sketches showing through on the backside. Um, it's kind of funny. Um, uphill and I know it. Um, yeah, there are other software pieces available. I'm, I'm not sure that I know of any, but uh, use an alternative like Substance. Uh, I, I don't know that I could use Substance for anything like this. Uh, Substance is really good for um, other things. <laughs> um, it's really good for texturing your models. It's really good for... Um, it's 
really good for yeah, really just texturing models. Um, I can't really think of anything else that you can do with it. Uh, you can generate, uh, depending on which package you're talking about, you can generate um, tileable maps that you can use in, in your different software packages, um, which is great for like Photoshop, it's great for Maya or ZBrush, um, for all sorts of things. It's really neat. It's good stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead, modify, expand by one pixel, and I'm just going to say delete. Okay, so now I've got one of the uh, sketches, just plain and simple out in plain view. I want to do something similar with this one. Okay, I'm just going to make a selection around the outside. Um, what this will allow me to do. Okay, make sure the selection didn't go into the sketch. Looks like good. Okay, let's go ahead and hit delete. Cool. So I'm just going to kind of group those together. I want to have all my uh, reference um, together. What that will allow me to do, really more than anything, <laughs> is to just make sure that I oh cancel um, make sure that I don't have to worry about bringing in a ton of different images to be able to have my um, to have my well to have my reference where I want it uh, gimp yes it's free um, and I don't know, I mean, it's been maybe half a decade since I've even seen GIMP in person. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a hard image to call, or a hard, hard piece of software to call a substitute for, for Photoshop because Photoshop is so powerful. Um, but yes, if you can't get access to anything else, um, GIMP can handle some similar tasks. Uh, do that. Okay, so right, right now what I did is I just went ahead and I, <laughs> you can't see it, it's behind the fish. Um, there's a little white box with a black dot in the middle. Kind of looks like the Japanese flag, but with uh, <laughs> with no color. Um, it's a layer mask. So what I did is I was able to make the selection, make the layer mask, and I right click and say apply it. Okay. So this uh, this will make it so that yeah, let's go ahead and let's drag these around so that I can make sure that I oops, I can see everything. Um, this is fun. This is the fun part. Okay. Okay, cool. So now... We've got all these images in one image. Yep, ways. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, right there. Okay, there we go. Cool. So now what I can do is we can go ahead, we can just save as a PNG. Um, if you want to use Spotlight um, Affinity, interesting. Um, and it's cheap, okay, so it's not a free alternative, but it's it's something. Uh, and Christopher saying that it's uh, having used Photoshop for over 18 years, that it's comparable. If 
fair enough. Toad character. Um, in fact, let's char B. I'm just going to call it char B because that's the name of the <laughs> that's the character. Um, the way that I have the file titled uh, inside of Photoshop. So to bring that into Photoshop and use that as a reference image. Right, let's do let's do this. I'm going to grab restream chat. Let's just kind of tuck this down. And we'll come on you. Cool. Okay. So we're going to do that. Let's do that for now. And we'll call that all right. Cool. Well, that's good. Okay, so we have a we have a really good positive review here from Christopher Stapleton about um, about Affinity Photo. It's non-destructive editing. That's good. Okay. Does that have like layer styles and and uh, layer masks and things like that as well, or is it something that? Uh, Kind of a oh, let me see, char B. Where is it? Hmm. Okay. Well, it's not. It's not letting me bring in the PS the the PNG. Maybe it didn't finish saving. Okay, it's bringing it up, but I don't know where it's bringing it up. Shoot. <laughs> okay, I'm going to close that. Okay, so one of the hard things that I am going through right now is that it is not letting me... see there we go found it all right it's like I knew it had to be there somewhere that's just to not good not cool just very not cool <laughs> okay Cool. Now we're good. Cool. Yeah. So I guess you know if you, if you need an alternative to uh, to Photoshop, uh, an alternative that's not way too expensive, <laughs> um, check out Affinity Photo. Could be good. I think I'm pretty sure I heard of it too when I was on the on the beta for uh, for ZBrush. So. So yeah, be worth checking out. Okay, so now that'll bring in my image that we just created. I'm gonna go ahead and select it. I'm gonna say add to spotlight. Okay, and you see that it brought that up to the side. Okay. I'm just gonna scale this, put it somewhere where it can be helpful, where you guys can see it, but also somewhere where it'll be kind of out of the way for me. Uh, this will be kind of inspiration. I don't know that I'll get super close to any of these drawings, but you know, whatever. Um, okay, so let's go ahead. Let's get started on this. Okay. So, with a character, uh, a cool trick um, that I've learned. <laughs> is to have polygroups and have polygroups designated um, to define areas that are landmarks. Um, 
this mesh might not work for something that's this uh, extreme. Uh, where's my opacity? Let's push that up. Okay. And actually, we can go ahead. We can say uh, texture, uh, save spotlight. I'm going to say char b spotlight. The other thing I got to do is brush, since I remember, <laughs> samples, spotlight projection. You can't really see it on there. There we go. See that? Spotlight projection is turned on. Turn that off. Now we're good to go. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to worry about minimizing this nose first. Okay. All I did was smooth, and I've already got a new character. Just kidding. <laughs> um, it's not that easy. going to kind of mask some things back out. And in fact, it might be worthwhile to just say, let's do this, let's do this. We're going to say, get those. We're going to change to our mask lasso, just because I like it. We're going to try to keep some of these other things more intact for right now. But I'm just going to smooth this nose out. Now we've got Voldemort. Just kidding. <laughs> Let me see. Um... How long have I been doing art? Um, long time. Um, the tricky thing is that I didn't always want to be an artist. I mean, I've I've been drawing and and whatnot since I was uh, since I was a little kid. Um, but I didn't really have a goal to be an artist. Until I was um, until I was in high school, I was a senior in high school, and um, let's actually undo. All that, get rid of all that masking. I'm gonna start make the re the eyes really big. Oh boy, do I have something else unmasked? No. Yes, I did. Okay. Um, but in my high school, they offered uh, 3D animation class. Do I have... Oh, sweet. Yeah, I do have subdivision levels. So let's just get rid of the subdivision levels. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get rid of my ears because I don't need them. Um, if I want ears of some sort later, I'll make new ones. That's kind of an interesting character look already. <laughs> Not going to keep it, but whatever. I uh, got, in, got invited to, uh, to take this 3D animation class I was offered at my high school, and I just thought that was so weird that that would even be a thing. Um, but um, I took it, took the class, and loved it. And 
yeah, I mean, I've, I've kind of just ever, ever since been very interested um, in animation, in uh, film, well, not so much film, uh, video games a little bit. Uh, I did, I did have a job for a while as a character artist at Warner Brothers Games. Um, but yeah, I just, just really, really kind of, uh, kind of fun stuff. I and uh, actually in high school before I started taking classes. Um, I was really, really interested to see the chat larger. Um, I could probably make the chat larger. Uh, let me see. It won't let you go full screen and have chat on. Oh, you're talking. You're talking about like on Twitch to be able to see the chat and whatnot. That's fine. I can. I can. I can work on that real quick. Um, in fact, you guys might lose the uh, the reference, but that's fine, I guess. I mean, it's more for me anyway, right? Maybe I'll put it up over here. Let's do that, and then then let's say chat embed in stream. Let's work on getting this so that it's more suitable for you guys. Okay, so right now Fortnite boxed. Oh, I hate that. Yuck. 8-bit comic. Eh. Default. I like the default. There are so many different... Wow! That one's fancy, but I'm not going to worry about being so fancy. <clears throat> League of Legends. Not bad. Okay. I'm going to say default. Message alignment, top, sure. Background opacity all the way down. I wonder how well that'll show up. Let's put it at 100%. All right. I'll go through. Let's do that. We're going to copy that. And let's see how it likes it. any better I get this Let me know if that works. If it doesn't work, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> okay. Cool. So a few things. We're going to come over here. We're just going to start kind of puffing this guy up. You 
<laughs> so funny. It's gone now. What's funny is like it looks like it's not quite showing up. Okay, so let's let's test it. Uh, Should be working. Are you guys seeing it? Yeah. Okay. It looks like it's. It looks like it's going going through. What I'll do is I'll make the document space a little bit darker. Let's go to something like yeah. Let's go. Let's go to this. Let's call that good for now. All right. Okay, so that's starting to go somewhere. The mouth will be interesting to work with because it needs to get really, really wide. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to start by kind of playing with it a little bit. Rush. <laughs> it's funny this might end up becoming just a simple uh, just a simple sculpt mesh rather than an actual um, than an actual production ready mesh, at least at first. And then I might show you guys kind of an, an interesting way 
to go about doing topology for characters, but we'll have to we'll have to see kind of like where all of this goes. So far, it's uh, it's going to be a rough ride. Okay, so part of the inspiration that I was, uh, part of what inspired this character um, is um, I wanted to have, like I just, in my, in my mind's eye, right, <laughs> in my mind's eye, I could kind of see, I was picturing uh, you know those characters from Studio Ghibli, um, or Studio Ghibli, however you pronounce it. Um, everybody seems to have their own way, like Wacom, <laughs> which is the true and correct way, actually. Um, yeah, let me see. <laughs> anyway, so delete a single poly. I like to use my um, sorry slide my brush radius that works. I like to use Z modeler a lot. So I mean, if there's one thing you haven't seen <laughs> or one thing uh, that anyone knows about me, it's that I love I love Z modeler. Um, Gotta make sure it's going all right on the other side. Let's go say insert stitch to the end points. Okay, so this is not going to match up super well, but that's okay because I need more definition in here anyway. So uh, let me see. I need. One two three, one two three. So let me let me go ahead and let's bridge these together, so we know that those are a pair. So we have. In fact, I'll just leave that open. That's easier to see. Um, I have one two three over here, and I have one over here. So really plain and simple. Let's go say insert, boom and boom. You'll see those will go underneath there, which will give me better. Um, a better ability to lift that nose up because um, then I don't have to worry about the area over the mouth stretching too much. Okay, so put one in right there, one in right here, one in down here. And now let's change to bridge. It's like there's so much. That goes into changing something simple like that. That's a little bit too similar. That's a little bit similar to the nose. There we go. I'm trying to look for polygroups that don't match other polygroups too, too closely. Otherwise, it just gets a little bit too tough to, to see what's going on. Okay, so right now I'm using that super smooth. Learned it from Shane Olson uh, years ago. <laughs> Essentially what you do is you start smoothing, but then you let go of shift while you're smoothing. So you can see like right there, there's that little bump right here that I don't want. Whoa, it's Ashley. Whoa. <laughs> and 
anyway, so if I want to get rid of that little bump, I can smooth, but then it's going to smooth everything in. It's going to get kind of like losing volume, things like that. So shift and then let go of shift when you're smoothing, and it kind of does like this relax function. It keeps the volume a little bit. So I saw part of your stream on Wednesday. In case anybody's uh, aware or not aware, uh, if you're not aware of Ashley, I and I, I pity you. It's, it's a sad existence if you don't know about Ashley. <laughs> but uh, um, she is awesome. She streams on, well, I mean, if you're in North America, Wednesdays, um, Wednesday afternoons. Okay, she does awesome creature stuff. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, let me pull up. Pull this over here so that it's, so I can show you. So over in the community tab, Pixelogic Log website, you can go to ZBrush Live easiest way easiest way to get there and then you go to presenters okay and right there top center there she is okay super cool there are a ton of other really really awesome presenters in here as well uh, there's Shane good friend of mine um, he's actually a huge reason why I got into Warner Brothers in the first place uh, Oscar Trejo Really cool, Thomas Whittlesback. He's on here pretty pretty regularly, um, both streaming and you know just visiting. So, Ana Carolina, Ana and Ashley and I, we do uh, a group stream now once a month. We just started. We did our first one recently. Um, Eamon, Eamon is super awesome. Good friend of mine here in LA. Um, all sorts of people. There's some ugly guy right there. But he can handle the ZBrush all right. <laughs> and Joseph, we trust. <laughs> okay, yeah. So all sorts of really, really cool people to go in and talk uh, and and check out. Um, Michael Pavlovich, awesome. He is awesome. <laughs> he is one of the best uh, artists to follow and to to check out. So, so yeah, if you get the opportunity to. Go check out that stream of art, uh, that that string of <laughs> artists. Uh, go check out the guys because uh, yeah, there's so many talented artists there um, from everything involving uh, cosplay. Uh, super cool, by the way. Um, down to miniatures, collectibles, uh, or production geared stuff okay so lots and lots of really really fun fun stuff to check out so yeah go check it out whenever you get a chance okay let me see I try to take this nose and move it up a little bit more that nose kind of like on the top kind of right up here it's so funny how stuff looks when you're only just getting started <laughs> all right That's starting to turn out much, much nicer. Okay. Okay, so let's start giving him some more girth. All right. <laughs> I 
Yeah, no, I, I won't be... I don't use snake hook a whole lot. Um, Ashley uses it a ton, but that's mostly because it really, really suits her uh, conceptual type uh, workflow. For this, yeah, I'm being kind of conceptual, but I also have a very... Um, a very structured base that I'm working with, whereas she works a lot with Dynamesh and uh, things of the like. Okay, I need to give this guy more of a gut. Let's uh. Give him some more. Let's give him something of like a like more shoulder. The eyes are something that I'll have to like completely redo. I mean, if you were to turn this off, you'll see. I mean, it's like, where did everything go, right? <laughs> it's so stupid. Anyway, it's just kind of fun. It's it's fun to to go through this sort of uh, this sort of a process. I really really thrive. In uh, in this sort of puzzle, it's it's I don't know, it's it's fun, it's fun. I like it. Okay, so far, I need to take the mouth up a lot. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's mask this off. And let's mask off that bottom section. Did I get everything else? Okay, looks like we should be good. And keep in mind too. Let's uh, let's bring back my uh, my character. Let's turn off the extras because I don't need everything on there. Let's address in the tree. I'm going to put him up right down here so that you guys can see. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. There we go. There we go. Whew. Okay. So, shift S to be able to get the snapshot. Let's go back here. Whoa! <laughs> oh, those eyes. And those teeth. <laughs> uh, you're not a dirty spaz. Good grief. Uh, yeah, the frogs from Thumbelina. That could, that could kind of be a helpful sort of uh, inspiration there. Uh, base mesh. It's not. It's not a ZBrush base me base mesh. So it's not one that you can get just about just anywhere. Um, this is this is um, this topology is topology that I've that I've kind of reworked and designed based off of topology that I've studied through Disney and DreamWorks and things. There are a lot of things with it that I need to that I need to change, um, but I mean it's starting to go somewhere. Okay. In fact, the the whole polygroups um, for the landmarks. 
Yeah, the hair does look kind of kind of fun on him too. <laughs> um, maybe I'll have to. reposition it <laughs> sure does look silly but it's fun <laughs> it's a fun silly um, the eyebrows uh, good night All that stuff that you can add in there because toads have eyebrows frogs have eyebrows it's a commonly known fact <laughs> okay I kind of like where this is at whenever I like where a mesh is at especially if I'm developing it off of a base mesh um, I don't have to feel guilty about um, about saving a copy so, not that one, this one. Okay, so torso one. I'm going to go ahead, turn off the visibility, control shift D. Okay, so now we're on torso two. Now we can keep working on it. Okay, so here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. See the right eye. Let's let's do something with the eye just for the sake of making sure that we have something. Um, in fact, I might just let's do this. Uh, we're gonna go insert mesh primitives. Turn this to this. And let's turn it to this instead. A little easier to work with. Okay. So very simple. Just taking in a sphere. It's funny, but I'm going to get rid of it. <laughs> Eyebrows, too. And the teeth. Oh, that's so funny. Okay. I don't need that eye anymore. Jose, how you doing? <laughs> Jorge Andres. I know a Jorge Andres. He's from Colombia. Let me see. Currently, this. Let's go solo. Solo! Dark Sky, how you doing? Nice chin hair. Yeah, it's more that I just haven't cared to actually shave. <laughs> so, but thanks. See if we can get this kind of going. Okay. 
And since we since we saved a version, we don't have to worry about um, oops. Come on, there we go. We don't have to worry about being too destructive with what we have. <laughs> like that center line right there. <laughs> okay, so this is actually like a real mess that will really screw up everything. Uh, is losing that that symmetry line, losing that center line, uh, and it all has to do with not being careful enough. When uh, is that a Ninja Turtle? Um, Ninja Frog Man. How you doing, Quintonius? It has, it has been a long while since I've seen you around. Oh. Okay. I'm take this, kind of round out the shapes. You'll see me do a lot of back and forth on a lot of different things um, when I'm working on a design like this because oh, there there really is just like upcoming event. Oh, okay, it's like what's so important that my phone has to buzz at nine o'clock in the evening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of cool stuff, I got stickers. Yeah. Well, and there's there's like my ice cream bubble. Uh, really, really fun. So they got here uh, today, and I would have been excited. So now I've got, yeah, you know, I've got my ice cream bubble stickers. Got my fish bot stickers um, and the new edition of a whole bunch of dragon stickers. Uh, super, super fun. And I am totally going to like put one on my bike. <laughs> Change schedule on me. I'll call in sick from work next time. <laughs> um, I don't have a bell. Um, however, there's a bell that I learned about. Oh, come on. Get all that stuff. Uh, there's a bell that I learned about that's supposed to be really good for, like, getting through headphones and all sorts of good stuff and I'm just like I want one of those <laughs> if I were to ever have a bell on my bike it would be that one <laughs> okay I'm just gonna grab that And it's time to start pulling out these nostrils. We're just going to start making these base forms stronger. You make it make it work. Okay, I'm going to turn my Z intensity down on my smooth and what that does is it just it just kind of keeps it from from going full power that z intensity is super super handy Ooh, yeah. ouch 
megaphone. No, it's not. It's not quite a megaphone. Um, might be kind of hard to see. I don't know. Um, it's really just a um, kind of a kind of a comic explosion bubble behind him. Just kind of fun. It has smartest.com on it. Uh, just a way to be able to you know do self promotion and whatnot. I'll probably start selling my stickers uh, at some point fairly soon. Um, so if you're interested, keep an eye out. Like this guy. <laughs> Just gonna kind of smooth that in because I don't need that to be super anything really. <laughs> So now this is going to be a tricky part to deal with. I might have to go through and do some uh, some really strange topology <laughs> reworking to get this area to work, um, or maybe not. But we'll see. things that I want to work out is getting that area to be much smoother. I don't like how heavy that transition is. And I'd rather the, the orange, since the orange is that top eyelid, um, I'd rather that be the part that more you know, sticks out. happening. Just to be able to keep polygroup borders um, still, I, I like to go through and, and do stuff like that. So if, I, if I'm wanting to affect just the yellow polygroup, but I want to keep that polygroup border still, I'll go ahead and I'll isolate it, reverse my isolation, control A to be able to mask all and then control shift click in the empty space to be able to bring everything back. Uh, that allows me to get a nice, um, I'll get everything masked that isn't the polygroup that I want to affect. So yeah, really, really nice. Okay, this is starting to work, guys. This is starting to work. <laughs> I just have like too much weirdness kind of going through here. So let's get rid of, say, insert, oops, come on. Let's get rid of a couple of these loops. Smooth it out. And that's just kind of how you how you work things. If it's if it needs it, <laughs> do it. <laughs> starting to turn out starting to get there the hand horn from the mask movie <laughs> that's 
funny. Uh, I do work for Disney. Uh, I currently work for um, Walt Disney Imagineering. Uh, I work as a 3D designer, 3D model, um, modeling conceptor, uh, 3D concept modeler. <laughs> My mind is doing silly things today. Um, yeah, so so essentially what, what I'm working on right now has to do with um, Disneyland Tokyo um, on the Tokyo Disney Seas expansion. Uh, it's a really, really fun gig. It is easily the best, <laughs> the best place I've been yet. Um, There's a ton of work to get there, and I had to go through a lot of places to. Uh, make it but uh well worth it well worth it got good people that really want me there and uh and that to me is like super key <laughs> is uh you know, being somewhere that people uh appreciate you as as a friend and that really enjoy the work that you do and that they make room for you so Starting to get somewhere, so yeah, that's what that's what I do. Um, did I have to move to get my first job? No. Um, I did have to move. Um, periodically, <laughs> depending on you know wherever there was work. I have had times where I had to move between uh, Utah, where I grew up, and um, and California, where where I'm at currently. Just because this is where the heart of the industry is. This is where you know. This is where I felt like I needed to be in order to more easily get uh, the jobs um, that I want. And uh, yeah, so that's that's kind of the uh, the gist of I had to move to, to get my first job. No, I did not. Um, I had jobs in motion graphics and animation in Utah, um, which were non-related at all, not even a little bit <laughs> to what I do now, uh, which is fine, because you know that's just kind of how it goes. You start off, and you just gotta gotta take what you can get sometimes. Um, Thankfully, I'm at a point now, though, where I can sort of pick and choose. I can I can almost pick and choose if I want to if I want to work. <laughs> if I don't, uh, fortunately, I work at Disney now, so it's like I'm I'm where I want to be. Uh, things are, are starting to get better after a long time of having had a hard time. <laughs> it does. It, it's really hard. So so uh, if you're struggling and it looks like somebody else is not struggling, uh, don't be disheartened. Everybody has everybody has their own struggles and has struggled in their own seasons and. It's never been fun. It's never been fun to struggle, but you grow. You learn things. You adapt.
<laughs> Utah is the bomb, yo. Yeah, I mean, he definitely needs a bottom lip. Uh, we'll definitely get there. Let's see, cold white fire, night shadow, dark storm, mm, tree of otherworldly beings. <laughs> The poly group making trick, yeah, definitely super helpful. Uh, really nice for uh, quick selections and, and all that. Really, really nice. Um, well, thanks. Yeah, I like. I try to be empowering. It's uh, it's helpful when when there are people that that try to be you know uplifting and and uh, yeah, because I mean we've we've all been through stuff. We've all been through stuff, and so you know the more we can just. You know, comfort and strengthen each other. I think the stronger we'll be. Did I even get that edge? I didn't. Oh, come on. Insert. Sweet. That's exactly what I wanted to. Okay, we're good. We're in business, guys. Check this out. Okay, so bridge edges, bridge, bridge. Now I need to insert. And now I can say stitch. Schedule partial. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Okay. Let's come over here, deformation. We're just going to say relax, wherever it is. <laughs> here it is. Oh, it looks like it didn't quite work on this side. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to mirror, mirror and weld, kind of get rid of that point there. Let's actually do this. going to take this. This is just kind of a, a little trick, something that we can use. You can turn off symmetry. I'm going to move it clear off to that side because I know that nothing on that half of the, of the creature, of this character, is intersecting with that middle point. So I'm just going to drag everything over to that side. Okay. And then mirror and weld. And there we go. We have restored symmetry. Yeah, baby. Struggle is real, man. Yeah, for sure. Come on. Job of the toad. Yeah, it kind of feels like that. I'm trying to 
avoid that a little bit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, keep working towards your goal. Uh, and don't be afraid to, to to do things that might be outside of your comfort zone or outside of your um, outside of your main goal, just for the sake of making things work. Come on. Um, because you need to. You need to take care of yourself before you take care of your dreams. Um, and that's just that's just the harsh reality of it. But uh, the better you can do at taking care of yourself, the easier it is to take care of your dreams. You know, to see to it that your dreams are met and. It'll be tough, but you can be tougher. That's the thing I really like to tell people. It's like, even if it gets tough, you can be tougher. You are tougher, you know? You see a TV show, do you get inspired and want to model your favorite characters? Not really. Um, I don't really do fan art. It's like anything that I do is really just kind of based off of my own uh, my own original characters. Uh, it's a lot harder to get a following off of doing your own original characters. But I feel like I'm more genuine to what I actually want to achieve, and I'm able to, you know, better speak to the project of whatever it is that I'm working on. If I'm doing something that I started, something that I concepted, something that I created completely, you know. Um, not to say that you can't feel that way for a project that somebody else is heading up and you're just kind of a workhorse on the project but uh, but for me personally I really really like how how it feels when I'm working on a project that I have complete ownership uh, ownership for saving project file are you LDS yes I am yes I am I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints And I recognize it's not the purpose for everybody that comes here to you know, hear me talk about talk about my faith. But if anybody has questions, I <laughs> I can answer questions. Um, There's too much head here in the back. Um, this in the right place. <laughs> Shave your beard because people are calling you out of I need to shave, not because not because I hate how it looks. I don't really care. Um, it's more because I like I hate how it feels. <laughs> it gets really scratchy down here, and I'm patchy, 
So like I have little bald patches like right here and over here. So it's it's it just doesn't look great. <laughs> but whatever. Whatever. see here's a trick so I have all these polygons right here that I need to change to this polygon polygroup color so I'm just going to go ahead I'm going to select polygroup I'm going to say polygroup island I'm going to select hold shift and then I can just tap on that now it's back to being what it should be <laughs> I prefer using ZTLs when I'm saving um, reason why is that ZTLs will um, be a lot smaller. Mm, pardon me. I might actually need to go and get some water. I have been like super under hydrated today. <laughs> uh, all by my own doing. I mean, I'm usually really, really on top of... Um, drinking plenty of water. I just didn't today. <laughs> okay, I think I need to actually change the slant on these. I had them slanting in. I think I want them slanting out. Ah, that's why. Somehow my RGB intensity got taken all the way down to nil. Oh, that's 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 frustrating. Okay, we're better now. points to that's a good trick yeah so the reason I do it the way that I did it is because um, weld points will sometimes either leave points unwelded or it'll weld too many points um, by going through and simply masking out that center ring and then dragging it over to the one side I know for sure that it's going to um, put it exactly where I where I need it, it's going to be right in the middle. Um, I don't have to worry about any surprises. So it's a uh, so that's that's why you do it that way. Uh, but you're right. You could you could also use use weld points. Um, but those are those are some things to kind of kind of keep your eye on and look out for. I'm like going like way slow on this, but that's okay. Well, I'm going slow and I'm going fast. <laughs> Which is okay. I mean, I think right now the big idea to this is to get the to get the idea across, to get it kind of worked out basically. And then to go ahead and work it out um, on a higher artistic level. Yeah. 
So Okay, so here are some of the things that I want to do. I want to eliminate a couple of the fingers. I only want two fingers. Okay, so let's do this. We are going to collapse poly loop. Boom, boom. We're just going to get rid of our fingernails for now. Give them these nice little like actual toe fingers. Actually, I probably could have left the thumb. I'll leave the thumb for now. Okay. I'm going to say delete single poly sweet. We're just going to go through and kind of delete some of these things along here. Some of these polygons. Oops, not that. Anything but that. And I mean, you'll you'll see, like as we go through here, we're going to say delete poly loop. You see, I kind of got rid of that. Left us with a little something, a little island, kind of left behind, but that's okay. Thank you, Mimits. <laughs> Thanks, Cold White Fire. Hey, have a have a good night. Have a wonderful good good night. Okay. I'm just gonna go through, we're gonna start bridging these together. One of my favorite things about the Z brush. In fact, let's let's do both sets since we're over here. Uh, it's getting kind of stretched. Um, I lost what it was I was gonna say. I lost what it was I was going to say. Oh well. Well, I'll just have to <laughs> remain in suspense. It's like, what was he going to say? It's funny. It's not super hot here in LA yet. But, uh,. Oh, also, if you're uh, if you're wanting to see my work, uh, just right over there on uh, the bottom of the screen, you'll see my website listed out right next to my name, smartest.com. Um, there, you'll be able to find links to everything like um, come on, you. Um, like everything to ZBrush Live, um, you'll be able to find links to my demo reel or to my Instagram. I don't have absolutely every link on there, uh, but I do have the ones that I feel like are uh, good for upholding professional image and things like that. All right, cool. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and we need to say poly group, single poly. We're gonna hold that, shift select. So that'll make it so that I've just selected that poly group, okay? Really, really nice, okay? Same thing here, I'm just gonna say shift to select, 
and I'm just going to copy that there. And since I have that select, I'm just going to go over here to that one. Um, the other thing I could have done, which would have been a lot easier, <laughs> is, and I'll do it. I'll do it on this side. It'll be it'll be nice. Okay, so I'll, I'll do this shift and then copy that through. Copy that through. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna select this one. We're gonna do the middle one because then it'll leave us with islands. And we can copy an entire island really, really easily. We want this whole finger all the way across to be um, yeah, smartest. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Can't win them all, Napoleon. All right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go. We're gonna select this shift, and we're gonna change to Polygroup Island. Okay. So now check that out. That whole tip is now finished. Now we can go through. We can do that one. We can do that one, shift, do that one, shift, do that, 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 that. Okay, so you see that? Now we've got, oh, look at that. If you want to, you can hold Alt to be able to kind of cycle through, uh, just to be able to make sure that your polygroups are different from each other, it helps so that, like if you have uh, you know, different colors, it helps to be able to see them more easily. Okay. Okay, now we're just gonna run a little bit of a polish on there. So much nicer. Okay, because something like this will work for me. And then from there, I can go ahead and I can kind of manipulate it so that it fits the shape better. Lately, I've been I've been uh, cutting back on sugar, like a lot, <laughs> and uh, I can't handle it, dude. I can't handle it. <laughs> I've been uh, been just trying to be healthier, take care of my body better. Uh, I was able to go ahead and buy uh, a bike, which has been tremendous for me. I've I've lost a ton of weight. Just since I, um, just since I started using that bike a couple of weeks ago, um, somewhere in excess of like ten to twelve pounds. Um, super, super awesome. Which you know, I. It's kind of part of why I uh, got the bike in the first place, because I. Um, I have experience with bikes, and I know how how well I stay in shape with bikes. So, yeah. Anyway, Try to play with those fingers a little bit. I 
should give them an extra little finger there. Yeah, sugar is a drug. Like, dude. So we've got Quintonius and we have Shorman on tonight. Awesome. <laughs> Been trying to learn ZBrush for a while now. I normally work with Lightwave and Maya. Uh, like Maya ZBrush has been an adjustment learning the tools yeah for sure um, I understand that from a lot of people that have gone from Lightwave to Maya um, <laughs> it's been a long time since I tried Lightwave so I wouldn't even like if anybody asked me how to how to open the stinking program I'd be like uh... <laughs> just kidding I could probably tell you how to open it. You ask David. <laughs> you ask David, he'll open it. <laughs> German in the house. <laughs> yeah, Quintonius. Uh, I, I met I met Quinton and 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 Sherman uh, at the same time at the ZBrush Summit. Uh, both of them really upstanding dudes, uh, and I've <laughs> always really appreciated having them around uh, on the stream. Really, really nice guys. So, go check them out. Go follow them around like, you know, like puppies. Because who doesn't need a puppy in their life, right? Am I right? Oh, it's funny. So this is something completely different. <laughs> but I have my uh, my thumbnail over here to kind of show where we started. Uh, uh, let me show you real quick what it is that we've done with them so far. So this is what we have. Okay. Um, yeah, he's a lot of fun. <laughs> He's been fun to look at, uh, fun to work with. Dude, Jose, you got to go already? Man. Well, have a good night, brother. Have a good night. So we've got this. Um, I don't know how far along I was last time. Uh last time you saw it Sherman but uh, this is where he is now so I've got you know last week one of the things that I did was I uh, sculpted the chocolate on this dragon's face to look like a splash okay, so it's like he's uh, you know splashing the chocolate on the dragon's face <laughs> And uh, and now I'm I'm going through and sculpting a rider for the dragons. Um, and that's it's it's been fun so far. I've I've been putting a lot of thought into what these guys would look like, and uh, so hopefully hopefully it turns out better than expected.
it's been it's been kind of a crazy ride at work lately. Um, just like a lot of uh, a lot of demand coming in really really quickly because we're coming up on deadlines and things like that. <laughs> so so it's it was funny. Um, Animals in their early weeks of life are the best. <laughs> Referring to puppies. <laughs> or anything, I guess, in early stages of life. Yeah, uh, a lot of kind of the inspiration behind the scene does kind of come from um, Wreck-It Ralph. And uh, specifically the Sugar Rush. Sugar Rush and Friends. That is one of my favorite movies, though. The first Wreck-It Ralph. Super, super nicely done. I love the character development. I love the character design. I love the animation design. Like Everything was so beautifully thought out and so creative. So, so nice. Um, I really appreciated seeing... Ralph and his struggles to, to just be liked in his own game for Pete's sake. Um, and he could go to Bad Guys Anon and whatnot <laughs> for, uh, you know, if he needed friends. But, yes, he just wanted to be liked. He wanted to be a hero. He wanted to be, you know, some, like, not a bad guy. And I, I found that really compelling. Just a simple, simple guy with his complex programming. <laughs> you thought this is going to be the replacement for the fish? Yeah, no, I got a lot of complaints. People being like, no, don't take care of the fish. <laughs> uh, I did get a lot of cool suggestions for... Uh, what to replace the fish with if I were to go through and replace it. Um, I showed some people at work earlier today and uh, they thought the fish was great and <laughs> so might end up just leaving it. But uh, we got a long way to go on this project still so we'll see. Start bringing out that uh, other eyelid, the top eyelid. In fact, here's what we'll do. Let's get rid of that. Get 
control A to be able to mask. And then I'll start just pulling this eyelid up on top of the eye. This is something, this, this area over here is going to be really, really tricky to work with. And it might just be a matter of going in and saying, We'll, we'll try. We'll try. See to see if we can get this to kind of even out some. This is always the fun part. Is dealing with so much topology that's going through such a tiny, tiny little space. <laughs> Projects like this are really fun. They're a ton of work, but they are a lot of fun. Um, I enjoy it. This needs to be kind of more the top of the cheek. And then this needs to go in. It's like I just got to make sure that my landmarks are landing <laughs> where they should. Um, otherwise, they don't really serve their purpose. This is really sloppy, but uh, maybe we can get it to work the way that we want. It'd be ideal, right? So what's been everybody's favorite part of the week? What's been your high? Absolute best thing that has happened all week. Let's get some positivity flow in here.
not a therapist, but I do submit that a healthy dosage of positivity helps the soul. I should have been a therapist, dude. I would make bank. <laughs> Oh, you're not going to leave us with your high point for the week? You're just going to say goodnight and then, you know, not leave us with your high point? It's like, what's... That's okay. Sometimes high points are just more personal. That's fine. But if anybody has, like, a like a really cool high point they want to share, that could be fun. Um... At work, I started working on another ride. So I had been working on um, Peter Pan ride for Disneyland Tokyo. Now I've started working on, um, in addition to uh, the Peter Pan ride, I'm working also on the Frozen ride which is pretty cool. It's pretty stinking cool. Uh, so I got to go in and uh, meet with uh, some new people, uh, some of which I have met before, some that I hadn't. And uh, yeah, it's been good. Starting to transition, get, get into the new uh, possibly new role over at Disney, so that'll be cool. Um, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens. It's one of the hard things about working for companies is that you can only say so much. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's pull that up, pull that up. So this is going to serve as something of like an extra fold on top of the eyelid, I think. Let's take this. Let's polish it out so it looks nice and clean. Symmetry. And we'll just try to. I want to make this actual eyelid part fairly thin. Um, so I, I want it to feel like. I mean, eyelids are not very thick. So we're going to try to copy that just a little bit, see how it goes. Let me see, Wednesday, greatest night because I found a great place for figure drawing, sweet. So is it like a, 
uh, do you go to the center stage gallery or do you find like some other some other place um, best thing to happen to me this week is when I got an email reply from a respectable Disney artist and my personal model feedback has been super helpful that's good <laughs> I'm sure that that's uh, I'm sure that said Disney artist would be very uh, grateful to know that the feedback has been helpful <laughs> LA Art Share. Is that in downtown or is that somewhere um, out more in like the Glendale, Hollywood area? So, you know there are a lot of places in like Burbank and North Hollywood and uh, and whatnot that they do a lot of like open figure drawing classes or uh, or whatnot. It's really helpful. Um, Finding finding things like that. I used to go to the Center Stage Gallery a lot back in 2014, and that was a really uh, a really useful way to spend <laughs> to spend my time. Even though I was uh, struggling to to get a job and things like that, it was a it was a useful way to network and grow my skills. Uh, yeah, really fantastic, good stuff. So, so very good move, Sherman. That's that's definitely a really awesome thing to be doing. Um, and I'm glad that I'm not interrupting your Wednesday nights to be able to do that anymore. <laughs> LA, okay. Kind of out in the arts district or something. Sweet, 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 sweet. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been out to the art district. There's a toys district too. It's like, dude, they have a district for everything. <laughs> Speaking of a district for everything, so I was talking to a buddy of mine at work today. Um, uh, he's he's from kind of all over the place. He's lived everywhere. Um, the dude spent some time growing up. I believe he said he uh, he grew up in Germany, um, but he. Um, <laughs> but he uh, he is Mexican, um, and he spent the last couple of years living in uh, La Ciudad de Mexico uh, for work, in the capital city in Mexico City. Um, he was talking about, I had no idea how artistically inclined Mexico City was, but apparently they have things like uh, all sorts of museums and um, like they have these, uh, these weapons that, that are uh, like, like a museum dedicated to weapons that were confiscated from the cartels and they so and he said that uh some of them are like gold plated and stuff like that because they're really big into godfather and i don't know he, he said it was 
really, really kind of interesting. Uh, so I'm like, okay, Mexico City is on my bucket list. Uh, yes, I do know Spanish. <laughs> I do know Spanish. Um, I served as a missionary for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in Chile. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, here's what we're going to do. Okay, so I need this. Yeah, hopefully I'll I'll make it to Mexico City at some point. <laughs> Try to figure out how how big I want these eyes to be. the idea of these eyes being quite cartoony. Um, so far I'm kind of liking this. So maybe what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll put the eyes kind of on the back burner and we'll just work on the rest of it a little bit. Work on refining the the hands. I want to add a third finger over here, just like a small little one. Um, so, so I've been to Chile. I lived in Chile for two years, uh, where I served as a missionary for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints, and uh, yeah, and my in laws are from Nicaragua, so. Uh, so I get to continue speaking Spanish. Uh, yeah. Oh, 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 okay. So yeah, I love Spanish. Spanish is such an amazing language, and I feel like everyone in the world should should know how to speak Spanish. is to just smooth out, I mean, for Pete's sake. <laughs> Let's just turn it like that. We'll just not even use the, uh, the poles. I usually use the poles because it allows me to um, control the iris and the pupil and things like that to be able to model it in. Uh, but these particular eyes are going to need something a lot more special. Um, so, 
So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to come over here with this. Let's kind of give it like a like a yellow green color RGB and then we'll give it I don't want the add-on and uh, let's turn our focal shift closer to negative 100 Maybe here's what we'll do. We'll start off with something like I don't think frogs are really even technically like this, but you know, we'll see. Good morning. So maybe what we'll do, let's Let's just go ahead and say drag rectangle. <laughs> we'll just call that good now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Delete lower deformation mirror. Look at that sick color. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's a little bit better. <laughs> Let's just turn it back to white. <laughs> it's a little bit easier to handle. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Let's get rid of these because we don't need them. Here, let's turn that off. I do want to do those those eyes, uh, mostly because um, if we were to look up toad eyes. You'll see, like, toads have very interesting eyes. They don't have quite what I have. This one's kind of close. Um, but you'll see, like, it's got, like, this horizontal pupil. Um, it's really, really fun and fascinating to see the eyes of different creatures. And it really kind of just depends on where they live. It just ate a bat. Look at that. It's got a bat in its mouth. Dude! <laughs> oh man, that thing doesn't even look real. But yeah, like I just I just love that look. Um and it's only like super loosely based off of a toad anyway, so it's one of those things that's kinda City, take that back down. What you doing up? <laughs> what you doing up after bed? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's working for me. Just because of the way that the topology is working. So we're just going to leave it where it is. Ooh. Okay. So. Let's actually turn off these wraps because we don't need them. At least not at the moment. And then the proportions on this guy, I want to really like super change up what these things are like what's happening with this guy, you know? Yeah, let me see. So 
we still have local symmetry on, which is good. Okay, so I want that scaled up. Bring it in. See, looks like a frog got into your granny's house when you were young. <laughs> awesome. Uh, David Glenn build virtual worlds for flight simulations. Cool. Been able to test out stuff um, by flying around them. It's a rush seeing them in VR. It is. It really is. We we do the same thing at Disney uh, to be able to test out the the rides. Um, it's, it's, it's insane. It is an absolutely fantastic, um, fantastic way to work. <laughs> up these arms it just feels right you know uh, a lot of this is like super experimental but <laughs> we'll have to see we'll have to see how it goes Do you work for Raytheon, uh, David? That's something that that uh, I had looked at a few years back. Was working for somebody like Raytheon or uh, or some of those other like pilot-heavy sort of companies um, where they develop technology for flight for all that cool stuff. <laughs> and it's all like super, super, uh, what's the word for it? Kind of secretive. Because um, I mean, they're dealing with you know, things that are sensitive to. Uh, government and, and public safety. Um, yeah, cool, cool stuff. this a little bit. Like this should not be <laughs> that lumpy. <laughs> Thank you. 
going to smooth that out. It's a bit too heavy. So what is the thing in ZBrush that you feel you struggle with the most? struggle with the most I'm trying to think I feel like I might struggle with the most is sketch sculpting. Like uh, something that I've always been very um, interested in learning how to do is sketching the way that um, that Ashley Adams does it or the way that Furio Tedeschi does it, or, you know, um, yeah, I know that if I were to, to, to be able to sketch like Furio does, yeah, I'd, I'd be set. <laughs> Retopology topology is tricky. Okay. It's a lot of fun, though. Um, keeping topology at a low poly count. Move to high poly too early and it's difficult to make anatomy corrections later. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Very true. Uh, one of the nice things though, kind of combining those those two answers from Quentin and from uh, Low Poly Gamer. <laughs> from Poly Gamer. Um, one of the nice things is that, I mean, if you do have good topology and you work with uh, subdivisions, you're able to go through and uh, sculpt detail in, in higher subdivision levels and then you're able to make proportion changes um, in the lower subdivision levels. So that's, that's really, really handy. It's something I super, super love about ZBrush. Um, something that I feel like isn't utilized enough. <laughs> uh, everybody loves the sculpting power that it has, but nobody seems to fully appreciate the uh, the power that ZBrush has for production. So anyway, I didn't mean to rant. something that I want to get better at sketch sculpting oh and brush manipulation I would love to be better at um, manipulating my brushes so that I can get different effects out of them uh, that's something else that I feel like Ashley is really strong at it's something that really I feel like everybody is really strong at and I just have 
only a very slight clue as to what I'm doing when I'm manipulating my brush. Uh, some brushes I'm really good with, though. So I'm also really good with like making my own brushes and things like that. Um, I use ZBrush for as much of the process as I can. Um, I don't like to be moving <clears throat> between software packages. I just don't find it convenient. Um, so as much as possible, I try to move, or, or I try to, to keep inside a ZBrush. Um, I'll use things like ZRemesher. Um, which has gotten way, way better over the last version, uh, well, this current version, I guess, of, uh, of ZBrush. Super awesome. Um, still not perfect, so I still have to go through and do a lot of manual topology using ZModeler, but it at least gets me 80, 85% of the way there. Um, which saves a buttload of time. <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually working on a tutorial series um, about you know, creating, creating uh, robotic animals inside of ZBrush. Um, you know, similar to that to that fish bot that I have over there. Uh, this little guy right here. I can pick up the sticker. Come here. But yeah. Working on a tutorial series based off of these uh, these robot animals. Um, I was hoping to have that out already, but uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. symmetry yeah I think what I need to do is let's cut off the groin area we'll grow this out just a little bit I probably I might have mentioned in another stream, um, but yeah, I've, I've been trying to, to bring it up occasionally. <laughs> the hope is to go through and and uh, and create it. I have you know I have my concepts drawn out, and I won't show you anything right now. Um, but it's uh, it's fun. It's going to be a, a fun project. Yeah, hard surface inside a ZBrush. The thing that got me into hard surface inside a ZBrush, uh, believe it or not, was the uh, the ZBrush Summit uh, in 2016? Pretty sure it's 2016. I could be wrong, though. Um, I got to be part of the the ZBrush sculpt off, and that was my first time having like a like a big sculpting competition, and I was I was wrecked. Uh, I wanted to be part of the the organic side, uh, but they had already had people for the organic side, 
and so uh, they asked me if I would like to participate with the hard surface side and I was like well sweet <laughs> and so that was kind of my um, my first experience being involved with Pixelogic um, since then I've been on a couple of betas um, for ZBrush I have I need to turn off that belt um, and I've because well because of that competition I was able to develop kind of a, a style if you will um, and that's been super super helpful to me um, in a lot of different ways not just for creating stylized machinery and robots and things like that but to be able to um, apply it in a more organic sense as well so you know hopefully I can hopefully that sort of prin those principles will stand out as uh, as you go through the tutorials but yeah I mean I don't really have kind of a definitive plan for release of when they'll be done um, because I'm kind of working on them in tandem with everything else that I have to do um, but my hope is to get them out you know soon soon <laughs> The last with the King Slave demo and the sword was amazing as well. King Slave and the sword. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I understand which one you're referring to, Polygamer. Uh, oh, okay. I think I know what you're talking about. You're talking about uh, the presentation that uh, from this past summit. Yeah, that was that was fun. That was fun. I got to participate in that with my with my mentor, uh, my friend and mentor Zach Petrock. Um, he has been a, a tremendous help to me professionally uh, for years. should be just the foot. I love ZBrush guys. This is such a pretty sweet little piece of software. Love it. So great. Yeah, so this is my um, this is my new official time Friday at uh, starting at eight p.m. PST and uh, bring a friend. <laughs> yeah, no, so yeah, I, the. Uh, I had other commitments show up on 
on Wednesday nights. So, um, so I decided to to make a change, and luckily there was a slot that opened up on Friday night, which made things really, really nice and simple for me because I don't have to worry about um, you know, or as much. You know, I still have to worry about getting to bed at a godly hour. Um, but it's at least easier. You know, I don't have to worry too much about um, having to stay awake for work or <laughs> um, makes the day go by so much better when I don't have to be up at 5 o'clock the next morning. Although I sometimes choose to be anyway. <laughs> You see, how do you find a mentor? Working with them? Yeah, sometimes. Uh, it's 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 a pretty organic thing. Um, a lot of a lot of what happened, uh, the way that I was able to get Zach as a mentor. I was uh, I was visiting LA one time uh, several years ago, <laughs> and um, I had a goal at that time to be able to work for Disney, and so on LinkedIn, one of the things that I had gone through. To uh, and done was um, was I had started trying to connect with people and whatnot, and uh, Zach was one of those people that I felt impressed to reach out to. Um, And uh, so I did. Um, he wasn't on LinkedIn, but I was able to find him through his website because um, he had, he offered classes, and he that's that was something that he that he uh, was doing. Um, and he he wasn't offering them at the time, so I wanted to know more about his classes and when he'd have them available and and his. Uh, I was able to get a hold of him, and uh, I asked him, you know, hey, uh, I'd love to learn more about you, uh, your journey into the industry, and things like that. Would you have time for a cup of coffee? Um, you know, most most people are always like really kind of, you know, chill and open to to coffee, so you know. It's a good way to just kind of <laughs> relaxingly get your way to, to, to talking to somebody in a, in a very casual sort of setting. Um, so anyway, I, uh, we got together, we chatted, and he asked to see my stuff. And that was cool. I mean, yeah, I had my stuff with me, cause, you know, hoping to be able to, to share and get feedback and and uh, at that time, my stuff was terrible. Um, it's not awesome now. I mean, it's a lot better now. I still have a lot of things to improve on. Um, but uh, yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> So I was able to go through and, and get some good feedback from him on my demo reel. Uh, I need to find that demo reel. I'll show you guys sometime. It's uh, 
it's it's not great. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's not it's not great. It's not worth um, a job in the industry. It's not it's not something that would get me a good job. Um, but it was enough to get me a mentor. Um, pretty organically, I mean, he, uh, you know, we we exchanged contact information, and uh, and um, and uh, we were able to. hoping to be able to pull that out but I guess I, I can't it's okay um, so I after after having met up with them we uh, yeah I, I sent him a, a thank you note saying you know hey thank you for the time it meant so much um, I'll apply the the critiques and whatever that you that you that you gave me and and you know, just just genuinely grateful for for his time and um, in chatting with me. It's it's a it's a pretty big deal. Um, especially being um, someone of authority within the department. He's you know the department head. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's something of a big deal. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was it was it was really neat, really really neat. And so yeah, from there, um, years later, um, he still mentoring me and staying in touch and it's just been uh, it's just been a fantastic experience so um, the big big thing that everyone should do is <laughs> is have a mentor find a mentor it's uh, it'll be a pretty organic thing so don't be that's eh, too far up so don't be um, upset or or uh, disappointed if it doesn't happen right away or if it doesn't happen with exactly the person that you always dreamed it would happen with um, you know when uh, saving project file why? Uh, but yeah, it's it's a very organic thing. So so finding a mentor, um, it can take a while. Shoot, <laughs> it can take a while, but it is definitely a very worthwhile thing to be spending some time on. Uh, make some relationships. Ask people out to coffee. Um, yeah, don't overstress anything. <laughs> it's like once you find the right mentor, you it just it just works, and they are there for you to support you. Um, but yeah, very very worthwhile having a mentor. Okay, this finger needs to shrink down. Either that or the other one needs to get bigger. I don't know. <laughs> Turn on that local symmetry.
Okay, you guys. What is the best trip you've ever had? The best vacation, the best place you've ever visited. Uh, what was most memorable about that place? It'd be cool to have Will Smith as a life mentor. That's interesting. I don't know enough about Will Smith to understand your um, that choice. Um, I mean, I love him as Fresh Prince. That's that's just that's my Will Smith right there. <laughs> Um, I grew up with Fresh Prince. That's that's that was my jam. <laughs> Felt like I was from West Philadelphia, born and raised. <laughs> but Don't say pursuit of happiness. Like pursuit of happiness was not really Will Smith. I mean, he did a good job, and he convinced me that he was the dude in the movie. But that wasn't really Will Smith. <laughs> that was his character. <laughs> Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground, is where I spent most of my days. That, and that's where the song starts to fall apart for me. It's like chilling and relaxing, <laughs> acting all cool. And there are a couple of guys, they were up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got one little fight, my not mom got scared. She said, Move it with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. Have you ever been to Bel Air? Places like crazy. <laughs> the cabs fresh and Dyson up here. If anything, I could say that this cab was weird. I thought, man, forget it. Go home to Bel Air. I pulled up to the house about 7 or 8, and I get to the cab. Go home, smell you later. I looked at my kingdom. I was finally there to sit on my throne as the Prince of Bel Air. Love trip to Nicaragua, the very rural area. Stayed on a coffee farm. And I had some of the very best coffee ever straight from the source. That's interesting. <laughs> That's interesting. So why did you why did you uh why did you choose Nicaragua? Did you have family there? Or do you was it like to be able to go and experience rural coffee farms in in Nicaragua in Central America? <laughs> best trip is probably to Taiwan. That's pretty cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to see Will Smith motivational talks. I listen to that sort of stuff all the time at work. It's really, really just chill.
Yeah, it's like my in-laws are from Nicaragua, and so it's kind of an interesting place. I, I want to go there some at some point, but uh, haven't been there yet. Calanque. Oh, Calanque. <laughs> Marcel. Oh, you went cliff diving. Okay. That's pretty cool. Hiking in the Uncharted, like, setting. Uh, oh, over in Taiwan, Sherman. Uh, a lot of food. <laughs> Me and my cousin once drove to where the Bel Air mansion was filmed, but you can't see a thing. You can't see it like there are too many trees or you can't see a thing because it's not that big <laughs> it's probably set back right I mean I haven't I haven't been out that way um, but Bel Air is like crazy we went driving through it um, just kind of on a whim, like on a Sunday evening, just a just a nice little drive as a family and whatnot, and uh, it was crazy. Like the hills up that way are just beautiful, and it's it was so so cool and so quiet. Um, I think we might have been on our way home from like Santa Monica or something like that. Um. But yeah, yeah, super. Yeah, I think this is gonna kind of work. up the thumb some <laughs> too many trees that's what I figured um, trip with the church okay Came out there as a farm, wanted to offer up a place for us to stay while we were helping out some of the local schools. That's good. Okay. <laughs> the country was gorgeous, right in the rainforest. Saw a sloth. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Bonus points to anybody who knows how to say bless you in another language. Bonus, bonus points if it's in a language that somebody else hasn't already said it in. I know it in one, two, three, four languages. <laughs> Salud. Good. Good. Bless you. You got English. <laughs> Zoom tight. Yeah. Okay, so far we got Gazoom tight. We got Bless You. We have Salud. 
in French at this way. Uh, no, I don't speak French. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case somebody comes attacking me. <laughs> uh, but my wife speaks French. And it's super cool. Saudi, Saudi, Portuguese, I'm assuming. Very cool. Does anybody know what it is in Japanese? <laughs> or an Italian. Or in Martian. These hands have gotten so super messy. <laughs> I've relied too much on um, my move brush and I haven't kept it clean and this is this is the result of <laughs> not being careful. Be more careful. So there will be a lot of cleanup to do. But for just blocking it in, it's tolerable. <laughs> Search the Googles. Search the Googles. Since he needs different toes. How's the water? Modify his feet a little bit, modify his sandals a little bit. <laughs> oh, 
Odagini. <laughs> Odagini. It's not, it's, it sounds like you're saying, oh, the genie, but with something stuck in your teeth or something, I don't know. I guessed right. <laughs> so there's a uh, there's a guy on here listening and watching right now. He uh, he works on flight simulations, and I was like, okay, did you did you get your start at, uh, at Raytheon? Are you working at Raytheon? And he's like, yes, and I'm like, I got it right. <laughs> It looks way better with the foot scale. I agree. I think one of the things I need to go through and, and do is make the head bigger. Um, so we're about to test that out. Oops, turn off local symmetry. <laughs> I still want to find more design to that head. This feels too um, too round, too plain. Set those shapes a little bit. Yeah. 
There you go. I think that's starting to work. Still need to figure out what to do with that head, but let's bring back the uh, eyebrows only. They oop. They'll be turned into mustache. For some reason, the eye really, really likes to turn its color back on <laughs> without my wanting it. Added that much that mustache in really helped. thing kind of clean up the lips just a little bit and then uh, I will call it a night it's kind of hard to see on the inside there so we have a couple of things we can do Let's just do it like this because this will be easier. Mm. Uh, there was somebody uh, watching the stream that had been down in Nicaragua for um, for some service. Yeah. So they got to stay kind of in the campo with um, like a like a coffee bean farm. Mm -hmm. um, they got to do some some service for some of the local schools and stuff. That was pretty neat.
trying to think what color should I make the skin. <laughs> I haven't saved this whole time. There we go. Let's say save. You want to replace it? Yeah, let's replace it. It's not perfectly symmetrical. Well, we could fix that. We could say delete. Okay. black like that. <laughs> I just don't think that that works quite for what we're looking for. So right now, oh, let's make them a purple sort of color. Yeah. So this way he looks like he's kind of made out of nerds. <laughs> All right. things that I'll do typically. I'll come over here. Let's we'll say color fill object. Oh. 
Let's boost this up a little bit more. I'm like super into focus mode, I'm sorry. flying in front of my face, driving me nuts. <laughs> Just way overworking this right now. All right. Okay, guys. That's where I'm leaving it <laughs> for right now. <laughs> uh, definitely a lot that I would like to change, but we'll have to do that a different day. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Sorry.
Sorry, I got quiet, but I got focused. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, I'll see you next week. Battle Frog. Battle Frog Man Dude Thing. <laughs> I don't know. I might need to make a completely different head for this guy, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.